Welcome to Vogel Timeline, our quarterly news report keeping you up to date on the latest happenings here at Georgia Power's Vogel 3 and 4 site near Augusta, Georgia. As the year winds down, the pace of work here at the site is as busy as ever. There are currently more than 5,000 workers here at Vogel 3 and 4, all working in different areas and capacities. The nuclear islands, cooling towers, turbine islands, support buildings, and even the transmission lines are taking shape. Here with a recap of the accomplishments for this year is Buzz Miller, Executive Vice President of Nuclear Development. In 2014 and in the project to date, uh, we have focused on quality as our primary purpose. Uh, the history of building nuclear units in the past has told us that if you get the quality right, you build the quality in that these assets will be valuable for your customers for decades and generations to come. We're very happy with where we are there. The NRC inspects us routinely, and through those inspections, we've remained in the green column, which means we are meeting all of their standards. And every day, we keep trying to get better, so I'm very proud of our team on the quality front. For this site, and for, for any site across Southern Company and Georgia Power, we always focus on personal safety. Uh, we want every employee to go home to their families the way they arrived, safe and sound. And our goal is target zero. That's zero recordable incidents. And every day we are working as a team here, both the Southern team and our consortium partners, to make sure that the employees here go home safely and they do their job safely and take time to do them safely every day. We have accomplished a number of significant construction milestones in 2014. Uh, we're very proud of all of those. The year started big with the placement of CA-20 in Unit 3 Nuclear Island. That's an 1,100 ton lift that has to be precisely placed and was successfully done. We put the first ring on top of the containment vessel bottom head, so the landscape has changed drastically. We're beginning to put modules inside the Unit 3 containment vessel. Around the whole Nuclear Island and outside it in the turbine building, the structural steel is going high, it's starting to shape up, it's obviously a power plant that we're building here. The uh, transmission system is being built just behind the turbine building. We have towers going up. It's a very impressive site. And the most, the most obvious site is the Unit 3 cooling tower. We topped it off in 2014, 601 feet tall. We're moving over to do the Unit 4 cooling tower after that. But remember, we're also working on Unit 4, and it has been significant there too. Work continues on the Unit 4 nuclear island. We place the Unit 4 containment vessel bottom head, and likewise to Unit 3, we are going very rapidly on the hills of Unit 3, taking every lesson we learn on Unit 3 and incorporating that into Unit 4. We continue to work very closely with the Georgia Public Service Commission and their construction monitor. We have a very transparent process here where everything that we learn is shared with the Public Service Commission. Uh, we continue to do six-month filings at the Commission, and we have received unanimous approval to date of every dollar spent on this project. And while we have a very transparent process with the Public Service Commission, they understand completely that the most important thing we do here for customers in the long term is to build this plant right and to build quality in. And in that vein, the Georgia Public Service Commission understands the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's desire that we do that first and foremost. As we've continued on with the project over the year, as we've reported before, we began training operators years ago to become the first licensees on the AP-1000. In 2015, we expect those first license exams to be held and will be the first AP-1000 licensed operators in history. Also in operational readiness, we have begun the integration of Units 1 and 2 with 3 and 4. This will be the only four-unit nuclear facility in the United States of America. With that, requires certain things related to emergency planning and security and other activities. And so we have begun that transition already to make sure programs are ready to go when we bring these units online. Our employees for Vogel 3 and 4 have worked together with our consortium partners and organized volunteer efforts and organized fundraising in a local community that has broken records. And it is really quite amazing to see the pride they take in doing that with the local community. As we go into 2015, the landscape at Vogel is going to continue to grow rapidly. 
Uh, unit 3 will continue to expand. Unit 4 will continue to shape up and look like Unit 3 does now. We're going to have some big lifts, big modules that will be put inside the containment of Unit 3. We will do CA-20 just like we did for Unit 3 in the Unit 4 side in 2015. So it's going to be an exciting year and we're very much looking forward to it and our employees are ready to deliver on it. Thanks Buzz. 2014 has been a very busy year with major milestones being reached on a monthly basis. Among the highlights were the CA-20 lift and most recently the cooling tower for Unit 3 nearing its final height of 600 feet which is taller than the Washington Monument reaching nearly 60 stories high. Achieving these major milestones is no easy task and we couldn't do it without our partners and co-owners. We wrap up our co-owner series with a look at our final partner, Dalton Utilities. Recently, we spoke with Don Cope, CEO of Dalton Utilities, to find out more about this important partner and the role they play at Plant Vogel. Well, first of all, Dalton Utilities is uh, the enterprise business unit of the Board of Water, Light and Sinking Fund Commissioners of the City of Dalton. We do business in the electrical, natural gas, water, wastewater and telecommunications areas. Uh, we serve customers in parts of five counties uh, in, in northwest Georgia. We're, we're partners with Georgia Power and the other partners in Vogel 3 and 4 in other uh, power generating plants. Uh, we're especially pleased to be partners in Vogel Unit 3 and 4. We believe these units will provide uh, environmentally sound uh, low-cost, effective energy for our customers long into the future. We're big believers in nuclear power for all, all the reasons uh, that I think everybody knows. Uh, we've had very good experience with the Vogel Units 1 and 2 and Hatch Units 1 and 2. They've been good investments and good uh, sources of electrical energy for Dalton. So yes, we were interested in participating from the very start. We believe that the nuclear energy uh, answers a lot of questions that, that are being asked today about energy and energy's future. We certainly believe uh, that it is environmentally sound, but we also believe that uh, it, it's low cost to operate and it produces uh, very reliable power. Thanks, Don, for that insight into our important partnership with Dalton Utilities. It's not just about the construction here at Vogel 3 and 4. On the operational readiness side, intense training is happening as operators prepare to run the state-of-the-art AP-1000 nuclear units and integrate with Vogel Units 1 and 2. Here with more on that story is J.D. Williams, Site Integration Director. The key to building a, a workable and effective operating organization is to figure out what functional areas fit together for a four-unit site and what functional areas may not fit so good together. And, you know, we started in July with emergency planning and security, and those two just had a natural fit. So now we've got a Vogel 1 through 3 emergency planning organization and a Vogel 1 through 4 security organization. We've got to merge those things. The tasks are somewhat different today because of the construction aspects. But eventually, those things are going to be brought together and work together as, as, as a cohesive unit. Well, the digital control aspect at Vogel 3 and 4 with the AP1000 design is everything is controlled with a click of a mouse, right? Um, some of our Vogel 1 and 2 uh, uh, systems have been upgraded, but not a whole lot of them. So that's a new thing for the operators to learn how to use. It's a new thing for the regulators in how do we control access to the backbone, the infrastructure of those digital control systems. And of course, you've got the ever-present cybersecurity threats that, that threaten the world today. So the digital controls really present a, a new aspect of how we control a nuclear power station. Our operators are working on the plant simulator. They're training on the simulator and have been for, for nearly 18 months now. So um, it doesn't look a whole lot different from a control room management uh, perspective than what you're used to at an operating nuclear power station. So 
Digital controls, special, yeah, a challenge, certainly, but we're gonna get through those hurdles and, and be ready to run the plant. Thanks, JD. What a massive undertaking this project is as we successfully build the first new nuclear units in the United States in 30 years. It's truly an historic undertaking with many dedicated individuals helping to get to the finish line safely and successfully. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey as we bring plans to reality. From the Vogel 3 and 4 family, we wish you a very happy and healthy new year. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon for more great stories here on the Vogel Timeline Report.